Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Anushka. I also go by Eternal Honesty on this channel. I do post lifestyle and beauty content. So if you are interested in either one of those, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss when I do post. For my returning subscribers, Hey fam, welcome back for yet another video. As you guys can see from the title, this is a makeup tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this beautiful makeup look. So if you are interested, keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting off with my eyebrow. So I'm using the eyebrow glue from NYX. For this, I'm going to be applying it throughout my eyebrow hairs. You do want to try to get every single hair because you want to make sure it is going to stay in place. I do like to give it a couple seconds for it to kind of dry down a bit because of the consistency of this. You want to wait before you start doing anything else just so you're not disturbing that hair. So now I'm going to be using my eyebrow pencil. This is also from NYX. So this is your micro brow pencil. So now I'm just going to fill in wherever I want the hairs to appear like darker and a little thicker. To clean up beneath my brows, I am using my Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the shade number 10. So I'm just using an angled eyebrow brush to clean up underneath. And this is a part that's really important. You want to make sure you are blending out that concealer because you don't want it to look like very obvious that like you put something underneath your brows. You want it to look natural or at least I would hope you want it to look natural. So you want to make sure you blend out that concealer very well. So that's it for eyebrows, very simple and straightforward. I'm going to be moving on to eyeshadow, but first I want to make sure I am priming my lids. So I'm going to be using my eyeshadow primer from Milani. For this, I don't want to apply too much. I just want to use a little, just enough that I can cover my entire eyelid. I'm going to use my finger just to blend that out. I'm going in with my Juvia's Place A Coffee Shop palette. So I'm going to be using this brown shade right here in my crease. Now going in with a darker shade, so I'm going to use this shade. I'm going to 
blend out the very edges of where I just did my crease. And now for my lid, I'm going to be going in with this purple from my culture palette from Juvia's Juvia Place. So this is Eco Was. Guys, I promise you, I know I did not pronounce that correctly, but we tried. We really did try. So I'm just putting that all on my lid. So I am using my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So I am going to be color correcting. I am using my e.l.f. Orange Color Corrector. So I like to put this a little under my eyes, along my cheeks because I have a lot of acne scarring and hyperpigmentation so on my cheeks. So I to put some around my mouth. And I'm just going to blend all of that out. I'm going to also let this dry down for a bit because you don't want it mixing in with your foundation because it's going to change the color of your foundation. So I'm going to give this about 30 seconds to a minute to dry down before going in with my foundation. So if you're someone who don't like wearing a lot of foundation and you have hyperpigmentation, if you color correct, that definitely allows you to use less foundation because I only did like what I would consider maybe like a pump or like a pump and a half as this was like more of a pump applicator of the foundation and that did my entire face and I don't need to use any more. So now to highlight, I'm going back in with my Juvia's Place Concealer. So I'm just putting some under my eyes, my nose, my chin. And recently I saw someone say if you want like more of a lifted look to like put a little by like the corner of your mouth. So I'm going to try that. Let's see if I like how that comes out. Now to contour, because I'm going to let my con concealer for the highlight sit for a bit. I am going in with a darker shade. This is number three. I normally don't put it on my face anymore, so I don't know why I just did that. I, I really don't know. <laughs> so it was so out of character for me, but... We're going to roll with it. So I'm going in to just like blend that out now. I know the next morning when 
And the reason why I don't really like to put um, the contour on my face because I don't want it to be like very harsh or too dark. And usually I feel like if I put it directly on my face, it sometimes does seem a little harsh and it's a lot darker than I want it to be versus if I put a little on the brush, I can control the amount that I'm putting on the brush. Now I'm going to blend out where I highlight. So I'm going to start off with my chin. Do you guys like it when I like speed up the clips of when I am like blending out the makeup and stuff because I do that because I don't want to make the videos really long but if you like to see the real like process of how long it takes me to blend out everything like let me know down in the comments because I tend to just like speed things up just because I feel like it makes it shorter because blending is just you're blending it out until it's to your liking i don't think there's much more to it than that but if you guys want to see like how long it actually takes me or just want me to be a little bit more detail in showing you how i blend out my makeup and stuff please let me know down in the comments like I do like how putting the highlight here kind of lifted that area a little bit it, it is not bad at all maybe I'll do that more because I do like how it came out so now before I use any powders on my face I am going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter So you want to make sure everything is nice and blended before you go ahead and set. So that is so important because if you don't like the way it's blended, you don't want to set it yet. You want to make sure everything is blended out to your liking before you set it and you've used all your cream products. So if you're going to put on like a cream or liquid blush, you want to do that and then set. I'm not going to use any cream blush. I'm just going to use a powder blush. So that's why I just set everything now. So I am now using my I Am Magic Loosening Powder to bake. So this is in the shade Kalahari and I'm just putting this underneath my eyes. so for my blush i am using my dubious blaze blush rougie volume one you guys know so this guys is honestly the best like hands down so i'm going in with more of this orange peachy shade just tapping I'm on my brush and then placing it. Take a deep breath and realize. Trust in yourself, I promise you'll find hope. You'll be alright, you'll be alright. Only your heart can tell you. So I've learned. If you want your face to appear more elongated, like the placement of your blush is very important. You want to put more like high on your cheekbones because if you place it more lower down here, it's going to make your face appear wider. And I think I have a very broad face to begin with and I'm always trying to like slim down my cheeks. So I like to place my blush more higher than rather more like on like my cheeks down here. So that is it for the blush 
I think that looks so pretty. So now I'm going, oh, some powder. Now I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going in with a brown lip liner. Now I'm going to go in with some lip gloss. I'm using my NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. This is Follow Back. So just giving me some, you know, some sheen, some glossiness. I really like this a lot. Like very simple because I don't want to put like lipstick or anything. So a nice like lip gloss is what we're going for today. For a highlight, I'm using my Dulce Perla from Milani. I'm just going to go right on top of my blush for this. I have been reaching for a highlight less and less lately. I've just been going for just like blush and just calling it a day. But today, I want some highlight. And then I'm just going to use some on my finger and place it on the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to apply mascara and then I'm going to put on my lashes. For this, I'm actually going to use these lashes that my friend got me for my birthday. And I've literally had these since January and I've never worn them. So these are Lily lashes. I don't know if they tell me the style. It says like a ornament. So this comes with the lash glue and everything. It's like literally packaged so pretty. So we're going to use these for the first time kind of excited because i've been saving these i don't know why but okay guys this is the final makeup look let me know what you guys think down below i really had fun with this look like i love how these lashes look they are so pretty they're so simple but there's something about them like you know that just makes the whole look a lot better so as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Tell me what was your favorite part about this look. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I do post every Monday and Friday at 530. So that is all I have for you guys. Bye.